his college. I was going to, a, 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 a guy gave me, an old guy gave me a bunch of tapes that he got sent years ago from Britain. What, cassettes? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, this is a cassette. And it, this is a Lancashire um, comedian talking about flying to Spain. Listen, he's hilarious. Did they crash very often? Only once. Have you ever been on aeroplane? Where did you go on aeroplane, love? Spain? Oh, hey, there's not many goes there, is there? <laughs> Bullet. Do you like flying? You don't? Oh, Lord, I've met an honest lady. Because usually when you ask women, it's always, Oh, yes, yes, I love flying, didn't I, darling? <laughs> you know, we fly often, it's the only way to travel, where we? Oh, I hate it. They freaked me today, Sanchez. Listen to what I always sit at Bacardo because they never reverse into mountains, do they? <laughs> well, he's, he does an imitation of, of a, when you get to the airport, airport in the 70s. I'm brave until I get to airport. And I see them coming in these jets and they land, don't they? Oh, I can see that. They go, land. Like that. And all rubbers coming off them G800s. <laughs> It freaks me, I don't like that, it puts me about, so I go to bar. I know me, I don't drink, no pineapple juice, that's me. But when I get on a plane, I'm drunk. And it's a weird experience, isn't it, being drunk, because when you're drunk, you can understand perfectly gibberish. He's brilliant, he's brilliant. Like a flight announcement. Listen. I've never heard one of them. Listen. You stood in bar, paralytic, you stung out your brains, and you go... <laughs> <laughs> Good, isn't it? He's amazing. Oh, yeah. is that, he's quite, I don't know. Is, is, he, is he an old guy? I mean, what's well, this? It's like a cassette. Yeah, it's always, always from the 70s, you know. Because oh. it, it, it was when the big, everybody was going to Spain. Yeah, yeah. And it was yeah. cheap, right? That was so. before all this scare about, you know. Oh, yeah. Terrorism. Yeah. You know, there was very little security at the airports. You I, went, just... <coughs> I went there in 69 to. Uh, on the island. Oh, you it? told me? Mallorca, yeah, Mallorca. Yeah. Oh, they were just developing it then. The, all the hotels were no roads. They were just, just sand. Dirt <laughs> tracks, yeah. Yeah, right. But it, I, it was quite funny. You got that? Yeah. All right. It was hilarious. So we're going to do six today, yeah. but we're going to yeah. do six easy, all right? Yeah. Just to save my legs. Sure. If nothing else. Well, I, I, my legs, my thighs felt it after. after Monday. Yeah, well, that Monday was probably harder than Sunday, really, if you think about it. We, we didn't have the adrenaline. We had a pretty nasty day of weather. Oh, no. Well, I hadn't and run we were a little bit nervous, too. I hadn't run since. Uh, once Thursday. the die is cast, once the, get, yeah. the race starts, what can you do? There's no, there's no turning back. You no, know? I didn't just... realize I had to pick up a package. I spoke to John, what all he's doing. Been leaving an, an 83 year old doing the package things. He's yeah, no, we pick it up at the at the hall, basically. You go there on the day and you just tell yeah, them. Yeah, no, he said it's at the gym at, at the Saanich Fair. Yep, no, no, that's. No, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, started. yeah. Hang on. Steady, six kilometers at eight minutes per kilometer. Go. Oh, wow, that's a bit slow. <laughs> it says eight minutes per kilometer. We can walk it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It is a bit slow. Well, anyway, we'll still get the four. Oh, yeah. And we'll get all those encouraging uh, reminders that we're so many yeah, minutes well, ahead of our pace. We'll do a little bit of a stride coming back up the hills. Well, you know, I, and as I was saying, we should both be saving our legs. It's better today. It's nice. Isn't it? I don't even have gloves on today. Well, I've got them in me. I'm... It's cold in the house. I'll try to turn the heat on my head. Well, you know, I was telling you that Norma was getting on my case about how much wood I was burning. Yeah. We've got about enough for another four days. Oh, my God. Yeah, she says, typical. You're going to Spain, you burnt all my wood, <laughs> and then you're going to leave me in the cold house. I said, yeah. no, I'm not. You're going to put the baseboard heaters on, I know. She's got them on a timer. Yeah. They come on at 7.30 in the morning, and they go off at 9.30 in the evening. Oh. And if she's in there during the day, she turns it down to like 19 or 18. Right. So it's not like we're burning a lot of fuel. No. 
Well, you know, she can order some more wood if she wants. But I've got a feeling she's not going to be swinging the axe while I'm away. No. Probably not the colour's gone. Been cold, it should warm up though. The only time I'm going to be running this week is with you. Right. Do you realise that? I'm running. Is that right? Yep. Oh, good. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. Those are our four right. days. I cycled with Derek yesterday. Oh, did you? We did 30k. Wow. Well, I did. Really? He did a bit less. I met him at the bottle bank. And uh, right. we rode out to Colwood. You know what I did? What? I went to the weight room. Oh, very good. I spent an hour in the weight room. Good. What was that? One the Fuca. All right. I did. There's a sort of a little bench thing. Yep. That you put your knees on and your heels behind and you bend forward. I think what some people do is they hold one of those big plates on their chest. Oh, yeah. And then they do that. Push it up high. They do the lift. You're leaning at 45 degrees. Right. Like a springboard. Yeah. And you bend forward. Yeah. And then you straighten up again. That obviously, it's working your back muscles. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. 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 That one. I was just using right. body weight mainly. Yeah. Ma mainly. Back extensions. Yeah. Back extensions. That's right. <coughs> I was using body weight. I also used okay. the the hip machine where you swing your you put your leg up on a little circular pad right. and you bring your foot down yep. and then you, it lifts it up and then you bring it down. I think it's the adductor. The right. Inside leg muscle. Right. And then you can turn around and do it the other way. Right, the, out. the abductor. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, very interesting thing happened. After about... I was working like it was an aerobic workout, but within about five minutes, I was feeling quite dizzy. Really? Yes. Because suddenly, I was trying to summon my anaerobic energy. Right. And it wasn't coming. Right. So I, I thought, well, this is a little bit scary. Why don't I have any strength? And right. then I realized that I'd used up all my glycogen right. cycling right. over to the gym. No, right. So by the time I got there, I had no right. rocket fuel. Yep. Oh, I had... Good morning, Bye, Julie. Julie. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I didn't have any rocket fuel. I didn't have any of that glycogen. So I was trying to burn fat, and the right. fat wasn't really giving me very much energy. No. So I thought... It's not in a, anaerobic. Anaerobic. Fat yeah. is useless. Absolutely. You need that explosive power yeah. of the well, that comes with... With practice. Yeah. And with diet. Yep. When I finished my hour in the weight room, I went to the pool... Good. And I lolled around. Good. In the hot tub. Yep. And heard all this bullshit oh. talk with these guys. Oh, I think they were military. Oh, yeah. They were all in the weight room. But well, the only reason they go into the pool... Right. ...is to show off their tattoos. Oh, yeah. they got tons of... Oh, people are weird. ...tattoos all over them. Weird these days. Remember? Like peacocks. Yeah. Strutting around. In the pool. Doing nothing. Yeah. One girl covered in tattoos. A girl? Four guys. Yeah, weird. All hanging around her. Weird. Like she was the queen of Sheba. Ha! <laughs> she wasn't anything much, eh? No, she was a good looking girl. Oh, was she? Okay. Yeah, but. Well, don't pull you. Morning. Fill yourself. 
Your skin will cover it up yeah, with stupid peacocks. But the bloody is stupid. Peacocks, that's what they are. Weird. Strutting around. And you know, self-indulgent to this guy. Yep. Spend a fortune on themselves. They do. Stupid. And that, I was plagued by those guys. It. The whole morning. I went to right. the pool, they were there. Right. I went to the steam room, they were there. Oh. And I thought, well, uh. I'm not going to go into the changing room. No. I'll let them get go off wherever they're going. But, you know, that's one of the reasons I don't like Wonderful. the weight rooms. Oh, yeah. Because of all those strutting oh, yeah. peacocks. Yep. Sure enough, they're... Oh, God. Tattoos. But the upshot was that I felt the burn. Oh, yeah. I felt the burn. Good. And I was using, for dumbbells, five pounds. Oh, sure. And I thought, wow. That is an order. I used to be able to do 15. Right. And I thought, well, let's try a few push-ups. Comes back. Three. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's not where you go. I could only do three push-ups. As I say, I used up all my glycogen cycling over there. Runners coming through. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No ducks today. No ducks. Not on the path anyway. They're in the lake. They're in the pond. That's good. Anyway, the upshot was Derek went to work oh. for two hours right. while I was in the gym. Oh. Then he came back, oh. and we cycled back. Oh, well, very nice. So it was a good day. Sure. Didn't run a step. Yep. He just does two hours, eh? He works for two hours on the garbage compactor. Right. He says, I, I get paid to push a button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor guy. So I said, how's the pay? He said, two dollars more than Montana's. Oh, That's good. An hour. Really? And he works seven days. Well, there you go. Yep. Seven days every day, every week? No, five days, sorry. Five. He works five days a week. Ten, ten. Hello. Ten hours. A couple of hounds. Great yeah. hounds. Oh, really? One minute. <sighs> Only one. One minute ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that the, you know, so that's with eight minute pace. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was trying to set it up so there'd be no pressure right. on this run. Right. But instead of that, it's giving us oh. false optimism. No, it's okay. You have to bear in mind, we asked that oh. for an eight-minute pace. For an eight-minute pace. So it's going to look as yeah. if we're really flying yeah. Because by the time we end, we'll be like right. three minutes ahead of our pace. <sighs> I thought, well, there's various ways of setting it up for this run. Right. We could have done it by time. Right. We could have done yeah. it by distance. We could have even done it by calories burnt. No, but it's we probably... could say, I want to burn 500 calories. Right. And when we're halfway, it would say, halfway to your goal. Would it really? Yep. Wow. It's counting calories. That's very good. And that would also take That's into very... account That's the uh, hills. That's very good, eh? Yeah. No, smoky. Yep. Ugh. It's not quite the smell no. of burning trash, but no, it's bad enough, almost. Huh? We really have to have that. Every... What was it we all we don't have the goose? Yeah, right? that was by the red line. That lion. was nasty. That was toxic. Red line. I tell you, if you had to live there all year round, breathing that those fumes. On the, on the earlier part of that tape, there was a Spike Milligan skit. Up we go. From 63, Speed it must have up. been. Down. Because we're on about the Tokyo, Britain's team going to the Tokyo Olympics. In 64, it was. Wow. And there was no money. He said, We only have money to spend on killing other people. <laughs> He's Milligan. That's hilarious. That's funny. Did he commit suicide? I uh, up. I'm not sure you might be. What not was sure. that? Hancock. Oh no, that was Hancock, but Milligan did have a lot of depression. 
think all these comedians do. They all do, yeah. A bit like Robin Manic. Williams, oh my god. Yeah. But he had apparently what's it called? A type of Parkinson. Uh, uh, yeah. Spike Milligan had Something Parkinson's. body. Uh, oh no, so did Louis Body. Yeah, Louis. Louis, Louis Body. body. Hang Louis. on, blind runner coming through. Thank blind. you. Okay, yeah, we're all you. You're not <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's all right. He's hot. He thought we could squeeze by. He blocked the path off. What an idiot. Yeah, they don't realize God. Can't be me on that stupid thing. Yeah, I hope he didn't hear me say asshole. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't know why it happened to be there. Bike. We're not. We're not very lucky with that corner. No, nope. with bikes. No, oh, he was on a bike. Yeah, two bikes. Oh God! His friend stopped on the road, but he insisted on pushing through the chicane. Oh God! Well, the thing I hit was wood. I think. Well, and left. you hit my foot as well. Yeah, I know, but I bashed my left knee on that. Stupid post case. That's all we need. Injuries. Just a bruise, I'll see how it is after. Um, so what's happening on Sunday? Well, Are you picking me up? Well, I don't see why not, yeah. Okay. We can pick up. What time? Well... The race is at 11. I'll check with... If we can get to the fairgrounds John. by 10.15. Right. Let Chris work it out. Yeah. Tell her we want to be well, at the fairground. Pick up our package. He says from 9.15, but we don't want to be that early, do we? No. I'll phone him and ask him how long it's till. I think the race starts at 11. It does. He told me that. Yeah. Starts at 11. And... would even imply that He'll be there at 9.15. Yeah, he. Right. He's... Well, what happens is that they, they have an empty hall set up with tables right. for the package pickup. Right. And they have alphabetical... It's going to be cold again. Three. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. A to E, yep. F, to G, F to K or whatever. Right. So we'll line up, sure. pick up your number... Uh, yep. I don't know, Chris might want to park somewhere. Yep. They have a lot of people parking. Yep. She could drop us off at the hall and then go and park. Right. Because it might be quite a trek, yep. depending how early we are, True. from the car to the hall. Yep. She's doing a run walk. Oh, is that lady? She was walking oh, is that lady? as we went by her. Oh. Just after we saw those cyclists. Oh. See? Three five ahead. Oh, yeah. That's on two and a bit. Yeah. Two and a bit K. And then one. Was that on two as well? No. No, it was after two, we're three minutes ahead. Oh. Three minutes, five seconds ahead at two and a, two and oh. a quarter. Really? Yep. Well, well, because it's eight, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I mean. It'd be almost better if I didn't have a pace set. Down. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Same to you. She might be walking again. She might have been doing it two minutes. I think she turned left at the... Maybe you're right. Oh, she's not behind us. No. Anyway, getting back to my anaerobic workout. When I finished, I was as weak oh. as a kitten. Oh, my God. I went to the A&W, and I just had to eat. Right. I needed okay. some protein. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. So I ate 
A buddy burger. Right, oh good, did it? A double buddy burger. No. Fries and a big oh, good. root beer. Oh good. Bottom. Yep. Anyway, I felt quite a lot better after that. Good. And then I went back to the rec centre to wait for Derek. Right. And then on the cycle back, Derek started saying, I've got no energy. I'm oh my out. God. I said, Derek, Come you're on, really Derek. out of shape. You must have. Well, he was listening He's to me the... talking about yeah, yeah. running out of energy and stuff. Oh my God. But he was He's basically out of breath. Yeah. And I was right. trying to explain to him the difference. Sure. He's got energy. Oh yeah. He just doesn't have the stamina. No. I had another revelation today. There's two different things, two factors. Right. One is fuel and the other is power. Right. I could have very little power and a oh. lot of fuel. Either way, it doesn't matter. Oh. She grabbed the ear of her dog. Oh, what is she? Yeah, she noticed the significance. Oh. Yeah, you could have all the fuel you right. want and no power. Right. Or have lots of power and no fuel. It's like having a three-liter Mustang right. with no sure. no gas in the tank. Oh, sure. Potentially, you could go like a rocket. Yep. But without fuel, yep. you can't run the engine. Yep. Nope. Certainly can't. Go. So I learned a valuable lesson. Right. Yesterday. Right. Plus, I worked a whole bunch of muscle groups that I have left to atrophy sure. for too long. Oh yeah. Very important. So I'm going to try and do that. You need twice a week really. Yeah, I'm going to try and do that. Once isn't good enough. No. It's like with the running. Yep. Oh yeah. If I give myself a break from running twice a week and cycle to the gym, right. yeah. not only will I get the benefit of right. building up some uh, anaerobic right. strength. Sure. I'll also get Derek off his ass. Right. You sure will. Because he, he has Morning. to go to work. Morning. He has to go to work those right. five days. Yep. But what he's been doing in the past... Everybody's out today. Yeah. What he's been doing in the past is he's been going in by bus, taking his bike... Right. ...and then cycling home. Oh, Yesterday I made him cycle both ways. Well, yeah. good. So he wasn't used to it. No. So he's going to get the aerobic benefit. Right. And I'm going to get the anaerobic on mm -hmm. those days. Sure. Good. But I won't wait around for him. No. When I've done my workout. Yep. I'll just ride home. Yep. Otherwise I'll have to put up with those. Oh. Peacocks in the pool. Oh, God, yeah. And the funny thing was that at noon, the place emptied. Uh, did it? Everybody went home for really? lunch. Really? Yeah. They all went home oh. to eat. Well, what age were these guys? 30. Oh, God, they're not working now. Military. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they got Surely. free gym stuff. Oh, my deal does. Surely. Stuff. That kind of thing. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I'll just take this out. We've got the auto pause on Good. today. Good, let me just put this on. No bicycles going to run us down. Auto Good. Auto pause. Hang on. Auto pause. Oh, just... well, no. Sounds like some sort of automatic cat, doesn't it? Auto pause. Yeah. All right, come on. Switch sides. Oh, okay, yep. Okay. Let's go. Go back. You too. Oh, no, we're slow. Yeah, we're no, but I felt a lot stronger. Yeah, good. In the house. Good. Up and down the stairs. Good. Yep. I think I woke up some sleepy muscles. Yep. Good. But I will take the initiative on Thursday good. and probably just walk to the Gordon Head Rec yep. Center, do a workout there, good. swim, and then go home. Right. And if Derek calls me, then maybe I'll cycle out to Wonder Fuca. But otherwise, I'll just save my legs for Sunday. Right. I won't do anything silly like pull my back no. by trying to do too much weight. Yeah. 
But now I know the benefits of anyway, some of those exercises. Oh, yeah. Good to do, boy. You just do it. anaerobic should be first, then you run after. Yeah. That is a shame. Just take it real easy. Oh, well, that's why right. tomorrow I'll right. probably walk right. to Gordon Head. How far is it? One. One go. Okay. Right. I could almost run there. Sure. But, you know, it's well, neither here nor there. I'll let you walk. Probably. Just warm up a bit. So I can... The other thing was that when I got home, before I got home, I went to Mount Doug Food Market right. and bought protein. Okay. I bought cheese, right. yogurt, yeah. eggs, Good. Uh, salmon. Yep. Okay. And I baked a loaf of bread. So I got all the fixings. Oh, and peanut. When did you go away? Uh, the 17th. <laughs> a week after the race. Right. Hello. Morning. So we could take a break oh, yeah. after the race. Sure. I think we would have earned it. Yep. Right. Looking back on the last month and a half, I think we left the build-up a oh, little yeah. too late. Oh, we did, Carl. It's not okay. Don't worry about Hello. it. Hello. Morning. It's, not, it's not the end of the world. Good. Up we go. Not at all. It'll shine when it shines. Right. And the other one is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Jack. What will be, will be. Okay, sit down, sit down. Remember that girl? Yeah. Died really young. What, Petula Clark? No, Alma Cogan. Alma Cogan. She was on TV, BBC. BBC. Yeah, wasn't she? she? Black? Breast cancer. No. Or mulatto? She was Irish. Irish? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking she of had it as Eartha a Kitt. Kitt. Oh, yeah. Was she black? I think she yeah, was yeah. mulatto. But yeah. she was brought up in Wales. Oh, right. That's right. She was, she was up. I think she was brought up in Wales. And her dad was a black coal miner. Oh, yeah. that's a kid. That's a kid. Oh, gosh. She had a husky voice. She's still player. Yeah. Singing that thing, what is it? The minute I walked in the joint oh, the forum, the, yeah, yeah. you could see she's I was a she's sang that. man of distinction, a real big spender. Oh, no, you're thinking of... I know who you're thinking of. Who? The other one is still going. That's the kid. You're thinking of... Oh, God, hold oh. no, I, I know who you mean. She grew up in Tonga Bay. And, that's right, Wales. Yes. No, she... She sang... Time we go. At the Queen's big celebration. What, her 90th? Yeah. Okay. What was her name? My dad used to always switch it around. Her name. God. No, I know who you mean. Yeah. And off. What was that? Oh, I nearly got it. Burly chassis. Shirley Bassey. Shirley Bassey. Curly chassis. We used to call her Burly chassis. Yeah. Oh, that's or, it. Or Curly Bassey. Or Shirley Bassey. Right. Curly chassis. Yeah. Hi. Shirley Bassey. Uh, no, they play out the kid every Christmas. Yeah. Singing that bloody crazy mother. Oh, listen, I don't remember. God. Anyway, getting back to your book. Yep. The uh, A Walk in the Woods. Oh, right. I've read the Pennsylvania oh, yeah. chapter. Isn't that something? They're amazing. I know. Centerville. Anthracite. Centerville was the name. Yeah. Of the of yeah, the no. town that yeah, they evacuated. Yeah. Sure, they evacuated the whole town. Yeah, that guy, you can't look at that mountain. <laughs> yeah, doesn't he good? The security guy. Can't look at something. Oh god. Yeah. yeah Officious bastard. 
Knowing our luck, we'll probably see those cyclists again well, at the same spot. What about that woman who was killed walking at night on the side of the Trans Canada? Yeah. I guess. I don't know whether she was on the road or off it, but if she you might have been her, on the hot shoulder. Bloody damn. She's dead. Yeah. People are weird. I don't know. Somebody says what she was doing. I read about those two women, the lesbians, that got killed. Well, one of them got killed, and the other one was severely injured. Oh, right, in the book. In the book, yeah. Yeah, no, they, they both died. There was a case where both women died. Yeah, two of them. And there was another case when they I both... I wonder they were Aussies. So. Yeah. Were they? There was one incident. One. The reason I realised was that I heard the interview of the woman about a year ago. She put out a book called 18 Bullets, or 8 Bullets. Right. Apparently some crazy guy yeah. shot them both. And well, these two are the throat cut, didn't they? Yeah, well, that's why the there were two separate incidents. Yeah. I think they were just raped. What a car. There's some crazy people out there. Oh, God. The ultimate picking on bully, weaker people. Yeah. The ultimate prize. It's a shock. There's bullying the gangs everywhere. These people are like right for a bunch of a gang. I watched a video yesterday about how in 1939 America made up plans to, to attack Great Britain. Oh! Yep. It was called the Red Blue yeah. uh, Plan. Was it? Yeah. Red was the Americans and the blue were the British. I don't think they'd have done very well if the Germans had gone in there. Well, it was before the Germans. Yep. It was 39, remember? Yeah, I know. So Hitler was just coming. If it, if it invaded in 40, well, they would have had a hell of a job. Well, this plan was shelved, obviously, because... Operation was, Theon. Yeah. It was a, just a contingency plan. A what-if plan. <laughs> but it's all lucky you tried to take over Russia. If we hadn't done that, we wouldn't have won Normandy. Well, Hitler was very keen that the Americans should take on the Brits. Oh, no. But they were only fighting in not you know, on D-Day, one tenth of the German army. Yeah. One tenth. The rest were all in Russia. Yep. On the Eastern Front. Yeah. Up. And even then, and, touch uh, and go. Well, they extrapolated what would have happened had the Americans tried to take on the Brits. And they said it would have been pretty much a dead heat when it yep. came to the navies. Yeah, because the British Navy was right. strong. Yeah. They wouldn't have had an easy time no. of it. And it being an island, yeah. you've got to be able to turn around us. Yep. But they, the Americans, their plan basically swung on take on the weaker neighbor pick yep. on Canada sure. so they were thinking of moving in and taking right. over Ottawa yep oh good boy oh that big but the thing in the paper in the week about how many people were in Bletchley Park were the women who live here now so about five of them. They have died too. After the war? Yeah. Well, they moved to Canada. The brain drain. Well, husband. Yeah, well, they were Brits. But they were talking about the actual way the Enigma machine was got by the Brits off a sub. Really? Oh, yeah. The real story. Not the Yankee crap, but they claimed 
That's job did this way. It's like in a film about 10, 14 years ago. They're a bunch of jerks, I think. It's like the Great Escape. They weren't even in that place where they did the greatest. Called it. Starlight. Called it's castle. No, no, that was another one. That was another one. It was Starlight something other. Where they did the great, you know, the three. Oh, the, the movie. Tom, Dick and Harry. Yeah. yeah. The Yanks were The three even tunnels. In it. That's why the Canadian guy, instead of writing the real story, he named it the Canadian story. <laughs> because they were in the film. The head guy was a Canadian, and so was some of the other principals. But they never said that. And they introduced. Because it was a book by Paul Brickett, who did the Lake Creek and the Great Escape. And another one I just read, he did, I don't know, that was Len Dayton. Len Dayton did a book about the Battle of Britain. Well, it just goes to show how history is interpreted. Oh, sure. Well, the Yanks love to make movies. As if they did things when they didn't. And then the Yankee probably think it's true. They bloody wasn't. The cheeky bastards. They just had And they assume. They copied the story almost to the letter, right? Oh, but, you know, they weren't even in the war. Yeah. And the Eggman machine was found in, in this uh, submarine before it sank, he went down. In April 41. They didn't get in the war till December 1. Oh, your, well, we're just coming up to your favourite corner here. Right. <laughs> oh. The wiggle. Right. Seven minutes ahead. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Wow. Either six or seven. Wow. You're doing the mental arithmetic. I can hear the wheels turning. Yeah, that's about seven. Just under seven. Which is fine for a taper run. Sure. And on Friday, we're going to do 4K we'll just do even that. easier. To the school. Well, to the 2K mark. Right. Which will be ambassador. Yeah. Right. Just, just on board. Right. Yep, I got 5k and I've got 10 minute reminders. So every 10 minutes they give us an update. So 5 7 to 35. We've run about 35 minutes. So in another 4 minutes we'll get another update of our minutes ahead. Getting back to the uh, movie that I was telling you about, oh, right, yeah. the Americans invading yeah. the Brits. Oh, the movie! It was a video. Oh, video! Oh. Somebody oh. went to the yeah. Museum oh. of oh, wow. Archives wow. in Washington, and he just said, "I, out of interest, he spoke to the librarian there. He said, you 'You've been here for 30 years. What's the weirdest document you've got?'" Yeah. He said, hey, have a look at this. Wow. American contingency wow. plans uh, to invade England. Good God. You get it. They even passed a law in Congress allowing the use of chemical weapons should the oh. need arise. So they were prepared to gas. Oh, yeah. Great. Great hypocrites. Not on our continent. They don't care. But I was talking to my younger son about this. He was fascinated. Is he? And he said, well, I'm pretty sure that most world powers have their brains working out contingency oh. plans. What if we had to do this? Frankly, what if an asteroid hit the Earth? Yeah. What if? Oh, yeah. So, 
Yeah. So people are trying to figure out what they would have to do. Right. 6.53 ahead. We've got 49 and 39 and young, it's a crappy plane for a start. Well, they had to up, upgrade. Oh, yeah. But they were a very strong industrial. They used a lot of force. Hi. That Merlin engine just about went in everything. But yeah, the Mustang, I think. Yeah, it did. They put it in the Mustang. They do even better. Flying, yeah. I think I've read somewhere that the Mustang could outperform the Spitfire in terms of flat out speed. Yeah, but I don't know about maneuverability. Possibly not. But they said that the biggest difference were the British pilots. They were better trained. Well, I don't know when the Mustang actually was completed. The Mustang probably did more service in Korea. It was done by Mitchell, who died. He never saw he had cancer at 38. The man who invented the Spitfire. Yeah, he designed it. Yep. Yep. He saw it fly in 35. But the, the, the up, it, up to date is right. We never saw the Battle of Britain, he died. I think it was 37. But didn't they, didn't they develop the Merlin engine to break the airspeed yes, record? The, yeah, the, you're right. The uh, Super Schneider Marine. Trophy. The Schneider. Schneider Trophy in 31. It's your favourite van. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> Schneider Trophy. Britain won it three times. And as soon as somebody wins it three times... I think it was in a row too. Well, they, it, they win the Schneider for those it. kinds of challenges oh, sure. tend to improve technology. Well, the last one, they wouldn't have gone in it, but for a millionaire's donation, wife who was, I think her husband died, but he wanted it to go to develop one of the greatest planes, and it did. And okay, this is Eric's place. Yep. Well, I don't know. I don't know when the thing came up. The last So what we're doing today is how to yeah. make a hilly run right. into a no hilly run. Right, without, yeah. Gotcha. Without overstressing yeah. the little heart. We've done enough on Monday. Yeah. yeah. I was tired, I'm for sure. I'm looking forward to Thursday off, yeah. Friday easy, Saturday off, Sunday on. Right. Well, let's play it by the hour. 6.56 ahead. Well, so that's like 7.01, no, 7.10. Right. Something like that. Must have been the weight routine I did. Yep. I could say. As I say, I felt stronger on the stairs. Good. Some mornings I have to go down one step. Yep. And then the next step. Yep, so do I. Sideways. Yep. Feel loose now. Yep. Can't cut the corner this much. Sorry. Keep pushing me oh, into yeah, the no. bushes. No cars. No cars. That's okay. This could be a good omen. Workout finished. I don't believe. Yep. Let me just stop the app. What are the chances? 
But it didn't actually cross our path. No, but look. It turned up Stonywood. Hang on. Let me stop the app. Hi there. Oh, I never cross here without a car. It's just on the line there. It is a little bit uncanny, isn't it? She's going up to those She's going straight up Maltwood, but she's walking now. All right, so stats, here we go. 40 minutes, 48 Ooh. seconds. Yeah. Six six is a thirty six six. Seven six is a forty two. So under seven. Right. With the walk brakes. Oh yeah. With the walk brakes. Yeah, and taking it easy. Not bad, Carl. No. Nope. You see, we do have it on the flat. We're on li in line for. For we a six. Get around 47. <laughs> Step oh, up. That's what I mean. Are you aiming for forty seven? Yeah, just under uh, six. Maybe right. we'll see how I do at the end. If it's not hilly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure.